what it is, yo. We're back with another top five exclusive here at McGuffinPodcast.com. I'm Alan. I am Brandy. And today for the top five, uh, we are going to do our top five non-horror films <laughs> that sort of kind of creeped us out back in the day. Um, Weirdly scary kids movies. Yes. Yeah. yeah. These are the movies that, well, for me, uh, growing up, you know, in the 80s and early 90s, creep me out for reasons that other than they were horror movies mm -hmm. you know so all right let's get to it um did you want to start off first or do you want me to sure start off? i'll start with my number five um this is a movie from 1990 it is based on a book by road doll which is how you know it's gonna be mm, effed up yeah and that is the witches yeah um i mean this is i i, I consider this a, a guilty pleasure movie still mm -hmm. these days a really funny performance from angelica houston as the uh, queen, witch, or whatever, and of course, this kid ends up where they're having the witch convention. Yeah, um, yeah. <laughs> ends up getting turned into a mouse, this and that. But um, as a kid, there are some effects in that movie that are pretty creepy. For you know, I know seven when this movie came out. Mm -hmm. You know, when the witches kind of like get, turn into rats and then like <laughs> boils going on and stuff. I don't know. Um, it was just one of the first ones that popped in my head when I was like, yeah, that was pretty effed up. <laughs> yeah, if this was <laughs> to be like... watching as a seven-year-old. Yeah, if this was a top ten list, this movie would have been <laughs> on, on my list. Like, that scene where they're all, like, in, in that room and then the kid's watching them and all of a sudden they, like... Rip yeah, their hairs off. They're, they're like, they like take off their wigs and they're like, and everything oh, that else. Feels like, good. <laughs> what the frick is going on here? Yeah, definitely. That's a yeah. unnerving. All right, moving on to my number five. My number five film is an animated movie. It's from 1940. It's my one of my favorite Disney films. It is Pinocchio. It is creepy. God, this movie. Let's think about this. It's about an inanimate object that comes to life and starts like dancing around and, <laughs> and all that <laughs> stuff. And really, the the part that really freaked me out the most um, watching this as a kid was when all the like the bad kids, you know, turned into freaking donkeys, dude. It was it yeah. was crazy. Like they're all. They're all, first off, they're like drinking and smoking, which is like not really Don't a cool thing for like, yeah, people <laughs> underage. And then all of a sudden they just like start changing into these animals. And then in the part like, like later on, they're like all in the stable, like <laughs> all like, um, you know, tied up and everything. I'm like, what the hell? This is freaking, yeah, it's pretty effed up. It's messed up. I can say that about all the movies. And I mean, the freaking what the climax of the movie is when uh, the main character gets eaten by a whale. It's like. What the heck's going on, dude? Yeah, so, well, you know I'm not a Pinocchio fan anyway, but uh, I'll support this pick yeah. even though. Okay, that's yeah. cool. Okay, I'm down with that. Um, my number four is also an animated movie. It's from 1982. It is The Secret of Nim. Oh, okay. That's my number four pick too. Oh, so. synergy. Seriously. Um, Great minds. I love. loved these books as a kid, and then seeing the movie it's just like a little too real like the creepy rats who uh live in a bush and i don't know they have like glowing eyes and yeah i mean poor mrs frisbee and all the terrible things she goes well, her, through. Husband her husband dies, dies in the beginning her and then kid her is kid like is sick, sick. <laughs> she's trying to like rescue the rest of her kids before the plow comes and kills them all <laughs> like, it's freaking crazy dude and like the person like the thing that she's supposed to like go and get help from was what the great owl and the yeah. great owl is like this freaky like <laughs> monster and then there's that cat with like the one eye and everything it's just what the heck dude <laughs> you know i'm starting to revert to my like eight-year-old self i'm like what is this going on <laughs> why is this happening to mrs frisbee i know yeah great books though Really? Yeah. yeah. Cool. Yeah. All and right. this is a beautifully animated movie, it is. So, mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. That's one of the reasons why I couldn't be honest again. Well, moving uh, on. Oh, did you have more to say? Or? No. Oh, okay. Well, the Secret of Name was my number four, so let's move on to your number three. Okay. Um, my number three is one of my favorite movies of all time, and I talk about it all the time. But if you step back and think about it, there's some pretty freaky stuff in it for little kids, and that is E.T. <laughs> um, mostly for the segment when the um, scientist guys show up, and mm. you know they take over the house, and they're all wearing those suits, and everything's covered in plastic, and you think E.T.'s dead. And, uh, <laughs> It hurts. <laughs> it, hurts it does hurt. About. It's like his, it's 
his best friend and they're trying to take him away and yeah all he, it's he wants to do is just yeah. call home you know yeah it's it's pretty creepy and um it i mean this is a movie that's been like a fun mm-hmm. you know let's make a friend and keep him secret romp and then shit gets serious oh man so it was really mostly just for that one scene that I remember as a kid being like, what's happening to E.T.? Yeah, I never really thought about it like like that before. Um, but, yeah, I could see how that would totally, like, unnerve, like, a kid mm-hmm. who's, like, trying to put themselves in, in that movie and everything. And then when, you know, E.T. escapes and they go on that chase, you know, I was just screaming, go, go, get out of there, escape. Uh, yeah, cool. E.T., great movie. Mm-hmm. All right, moving on to my number three pick. It's from 1971. Roll dolls back. <laughs> Willy Wonka and the Chocolate yeah, Factory. Yeah, I knew you'd have this one, so. Oh, yeah. I mean, I'm sure, you know. I love this movie, but. This movie is so unnerving. Again, it's about <laughs> children, like, being put in danger, dude. Like, each yeah. kid, like, goes, drops pretty one by one. Dies. Like, yeah, pretty <laughs> much, like, we don't know what happens to them. Even at the end of the movie, it's like, did they really survive? <laughs> and then after each one gets, like, knocked off, a bunch of, like, little orange people come out and sing a song like they were preparing yeah, for it, Yeah, and know? there's the infamous psychedelic boat ride. That boat ride freaked me out. Like, who would want to go and see that? You know, even my age, you know, I'd be kind of, like, freaked out to go on that <laughs> either way. So, um... Yeah, I don't know. It's that that movie is like really cool, really like fun to watch, but at the same time it's like putting yourself as a kid. It's like, "Ooh, this is kind of weird, you know." And um Tim Burton's remake kind of takes it to a whole different level, which is <laughs> good and bad. Yeah. Or maybe just bad, but mm-hmm. yeah, anyway. So, good pick. Thank you. Okay, my number 2. I don't I don't remember this movie super clearly, but I just remember being freaked out by it. So maybe, I don't know, maybe I'm crazy. But um, The Last Unicorn, <laughs> people remember this. Like oh. the whole, she's so lonely. And mm-hmm. like there's all these evil people everywhere. And I have to say, a couple years ago, I went to this party that had a Unicorns versus Narwhals theme. It was a very strange place. Hmm. But they had this movie playing on a silent loop in the background of the party all the, the whole night and I was like freaked out. <laughs> like why is this happening? What's going on? <laughs> wow. Yeah, I don't know. I just uh, somehow I was traumatized by this movie as a child. Mm. Unfortunately, I actually... So many not... child movies about loneliness. I know, like... right? What's that all about? Couldn't they just be regular kids going through like regular adventures? No, they have to no, be like the do... lonely kind. <laughs> yeah. All right, cool. All right, let's move on to my number two. It's from 1984, The NeverEnding Story. This is my number one. So we oh, okay. We might as well just keep going. Uh, what is with the swamps of sadness? I don't that know, dude. It's like worst. everything about that movie is just super, super dark, and the character design is just really, really creepy. And mm-hmm. I mean, the main thing about that movie is they're trying to stop this thing called the nothing from taking oh, over. Oh, yeah. The nothing, like. What's more scary than the unknown than coming to take you away? You yeah. know, it's like, what the freak? And then, you know, it's about this kid who's like reading a story and all of a sudden the story comes to life and like he becomes part of the story. It's like, whoa, dude, you know, it's like reading the scariest story ever. And then the story <laughs> like taking you, you know, it's <laughs> it freaks me out. Yeah, you know? I mean, just the whole part with poor Atreus horse. I mean... <laughs> I can picture myself like standing, like staring at the screen and... as a child, being like, "What? What's happening?" Yeah, a horse it's... dies. <sighs> it's... <laughs> it's so sad. It's such it's an scary. awesome movie, though. You know, yeah. Thinking about it in retrospect, but man, I as named a kid... my first car after Bastion. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. His name awesome. was Bastion. <laughs> that's dual that's meaning cool. for vocab nerds, but yeah. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> <laughs> All right, <laughs> let's move on to my number one, 1985, The Return to Oz. Yeah. You know, when the I... Wheelers. When I, yeah, the heads. wheelers, freaking heads. <laughs> what the hell? You know, when you think about it, like, being that this is sort of a loose uh, sequel to the original film... Uh-huh. The original film I can handle, even though it was kind of creepy, yeah. uh, you know, on, on its own and everything, but, man, this film took it to, like, a whole different mm-hmm. freaking level, man, like... In the beginning, she's all, like, <laughs> in insane asylum, and, like, they threaten her with, like, shock therapy, and then she travels to to uh, to Oz, and freaking the, the yellow brick road's all destroyed, and everyone's, like, 
it's just really weird. I, I don't know. I mean, thinking about it now, it's just, ooh, like, what the heck? I mean, <laughs> and, like, yeah, exactly what you said. That head part yeah. gets to it's me cool, every though. freaking time. I read it's all these cool. books when I was a kid, too. It's and super I was, cool, I but I was wow, about man, the heads. that's <laughs> hardcore, man. And then, yeah, the wheelers and just, it's it's to a whole different Oz level. Oz is a freaky place, man. And... They're not pausing every 10 seconds to sing a jaunty romp in this Yeah, yeah. seriously. It's <laughs> definitely not Kansas anymore. <laughs> I, can't All right. I can't believe you went there. I did. Um, I'm not afraid. Yeah. Man, when I have kids, they're in trouble because <laughs> I'm showing them all these films. I could traumatize them. All right, so that does it for our top five creepy, scary, non-horror kids films. <laughs> if you have any that you want to recommend, please let us know at MacGuffinPodcast.com, and we will see you, you guys next time. How do you freak out your time. children? Yeah, how do you freak them out? <laughs> let us know. Peace.